All right, what is going on, guys? This is your boy Jiro the Six Bass. You already know I am back, and you know what? As you can tell from the title of the video, you know we are about to roast the shit out of some fake ass feminists, and you know, basically girls who get away with fucking everything with some Mortal Kombat stuff in the background. Right? Let's just watch the trash real quick. All right. So basically, this is just a rant on me. You know, um, talking about how oh, you know, feminists really y'all you know, be treating people sometimes and not even for good reasons, bro. Like reasons that truthfully are starting to piss me off, bro. And like, you know, it pissed me off so much. I just felt like I had to talk about it with you guys today, okay? So uh, you know, if you so you know, sit back, get some popcorn. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I mean, it's gonna be roasting the shit out of some fake ass feminists and you know, girls who get away with everything. So, uh, yeah, uh, click, click the like button if you liked the video, and let's get into it. So, first off, bruh, we can all tell I'm a fucking student in school, bruh. So, you know, you guys ever like, just get those substitutes that are just like feminist about fucking everything, bruh? Th those teachers, you guys, you guys ever, you know, have those teachers? Or it's substitutes? Well, I I'm gonna tell you I have. Cause you know what? <laughs> Let let's see, bro. Some some little bitch in my um in my class, you know, you know, bro. She started, she start like, bro. I guess she wasn't in a good mood or something. And like, but truthfully, she was never in a good mood. But like, basically, she started get, she just started trying to get the flame on me. And then, and then like she started hit me bro and I'm like and, and then I just got tired of it bro cuz I'm a gentleman when it comes to that shit I would let it slide a few times but then if you push me to my point bro I will roast the shit out of you nigga I swear to god I will and and like she pushed me to that limit bro and so like I so like I pushed her back and then like I started roasting the shit out of her and I started calling and I started calling her a bitch and you know what? You know what? This fucking substitute. And by the way, this was like a music substitute. She was like, she was like, oh, you can't talk to women like that. That is abuse. That you know what? You can't even be pushing women like that. That is abuse. That is sexist. Oh my god. Uh, boys are such heathens. Uh. And I kid you not, she called me a heathen, or she called me a dude. I don't, I don't know. She called me one of those things, bro. And I was like, bitch, if you don't get your fake feminist ass self out of here, I swear to God, I'm gonna get so roasted on you with your goddamn fake ass hairline, your goddamn edge up. Like, what the fuck are you wearing, bro? Because she was wearing some weird ass looking shoes, bro. And I mean, some weird ass looking shoes. I'm like, bitch, are those Skechers? Are those fucking Skechers? Like, what the fuck are you wearing, bitch? No, no, stop it, bitch. No, I said, like, just fucking stop it. Get your ass out of here. Like, I did not say that to you, teacher. I, I didn't want to be that disrespectful, bro. But she truthfully pissed me off, bro. Like, like really, bro, you, you, you really think that I'm the heathen here? Like, you ain't just see her push me. Like, like you really ain't see her just push the shit out of me and start, like, shit. Uh, body shaming me for how fucking skinny I was, bitch. You really ain't see or hear that? Like, that is some fake ass shit right there. My god, you have to turn every situation where there is a boy and a girl into some feminist ass situation, bro. And I kid you not, when she started the class, bro, she, she, we were talking, it was something about music, and then, like, somehow it, it got on the point of, of girls and how boys are too brutal to them. And I'm like, what the fuck? Wait, 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 what, what page is this on? What page in our music books is this on? And, and I'm like, yo, bitch, I don't give a fuck. But like, but like, I just started looking at, but really, in reality, I just started looking at her crazy, and I was like, I'd say something to you if you couldn't send me to the principal's office and get me suspended. Like, ooh, I would get the flame on you right now, bitch. Do you know that? Do, do you know how bad I would be flaming you right now if I could? Like, do you really? But, mm, I ain't say anything. I ain't say anything. Just tore to get her white ass out of here. But, like, but basically, let's move on to a whole nother story, bro. Let's, let's move on to a 
whole other story, bruh. And this happened today, too. And this is probably why I'm talking about it. So this girl in my class, right, right, right. She sits in this comfortable ass chair every day. And it's the teacher's chair, too. It's the teacher's chair. I kid you not. It's the teacher's chair. And she is, and the teacher is nice enough to let us sit in this chair every day. But, and I say us. But, you know, this fat ass bitch, she can't fucking get up out of the chair, bruh. She can't fucking get up out of the chair for one fucking minute, bruh. I swear, every class she'd be sitting in that chair, bruh. It's like, god damn, would you get your fat ass up? Like, like, let someone else be in the chair. You know what? You know what? Once I saw the chair open, bruh. I saw the chair open. She wasn't even in the class. I don't know where she was. I didn't care. I didn't feel like sitting in one of the hard ass seats that day. And so I was like, mm -hmm, yeah, I'm gonna sit in this for a period. Why not? And so I did. You know what? You know what? This bitch comes out of nowhere, I swear. She came from the depths of hell, bruh. Just to say, get up out my seat. Get up out my seat. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right. You know, we've been chill for, you know, practically ever since you came to this school. So I'm gonna tell you this the nicest way I can. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to sit in this seat for a period. And plus your fat ass has been in this seat for, you know, bas ever, basically ever since um, our teacher let us, um, let, uh, let us, um, you know, even be in this seat, all right? So I would like to sit in this seat for a period. And she was like, no, 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 let me, let, let me sit in the seat, let me sit in the seat. I don't care, I don't care. Give me my seat back. And I'm like, I'm like, please, just. Just let me sit in the seat. Let me sit in the seat. And then you know what she and you know what she was like, oh my god, no, just let me get in the seat. And then you know what she started getting on my nerves. And I was like, and then you know what? That's when I started to get in the flame on her. I was like, Whew. okay. And this one wasn't in my head. This one was out loud. I said, okay, listen here. Listen here, you fat little fuck. You sit in the seat almost goddamn near every day. Nobody says shit to you. No, absolutely nobody says shit to you. We be sitting in these hard ass chairs every day. I want to sit in this shit for a period. And you and you bitching about it right now? Like really, really, nigga, really, my nigga? Are you serious right now? You want a bitch? Cause I'm trying to sit in it for a fucking period. A fucking period, bitch. No, no, bitch, no. Yo, you could fucking eat my ass. God damn. Yo, I think you need to burn off some fucking calories right now, bitch. God damn. Because, you know, you proven you can burn off a whole fucking watermelon when we were in the gym. But, you know what? I think you need to burn off that whole elephant you fucking ate, man. Like, I swear, one day she was so hungry, she tackled a whole elephant, got, got that knife and that fork, and just started eating that shit, bruh. Ate a whole elephant. And the zookeepers were like, where the fuck the elephant go? And then, you know what, the one zookeeper said, Oh, uh, no, I think that one girl right there ate it. And I'm like, oh, shit, she got so fat from that shit, bro. She like, oh, God, she got Zilla, bro. I swear that's what those zookeepers were saying that day. I swear to God that's what they said that day. Bro, let's just say I, I said some other things that I don't even feel comfortable saying on the fucking camera, bro. Because, you know, she just pissed the shit out of me, bro. And, like, this just happened. And I've only sat in that chair, like, what, five times, I think, in, in like, um, all of the times I've ever, I've ever wanted to sit in that chair. Like, it was, like, five times. Five times. And you know what? The fact that, that she sits in that seat every fucking day. And I mean every fucking day. And like nobody says shit. Nobody says shit to say, she sits in that seat every day. Nobody even has a problem with it. It is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And you know what? Let, let's get on to another story with, with another one of my substitutes. And this was like when my, my homeroom teacher wasn't here. My homeroom teacher... She um, was out. We don't know what. Um, we didn't truthfully care. She was back the next day. That doesn't matter though. So we had this one teacher. I forgot her name. And I'm not going to say it because, you know, she's still alive and all that. And so I don't want to be disrespectful. All that. In case anyone goes to my school is watching this video. So I, I'm just going to say it. But like, this teacher, bruh. Okay. Um, bruh. 
I don't even know how to actually describe it, because you know I can't think of anything to say. It's not like she was an unreal teacher. She was an she was an unreal type fake feminist, bro. But like, but like, really, um, she was really. I feel like I shouldn't even go to a whole into a whole story about her, bro, and getting thrusting on her, because really, bro, like, every time she. She came into our class, or, eh, I, I can't even think of what to say about this teacher, bro, truthfully. I don't have any roast I can automatically say about this teacher other than the fact that she's a fake, one fake ass feminist. I remember, I do remember though, that like, she, she would fucking always praise the, the girls about everything they did, but she would think the boys were dumb as hell, bro, like, and that actually pissed me off, bro. She was like, she was, and she was like, oh, you were such a bright student. You are such a bright student. And actually, now that I think about it, I think she actually used to look like a... I think she looked somewhat, somewhat like a music teacher, bruh. She, I think she looks something like a music teacher. You don't know who our music teacher is. I don't know why I'm telling you that. But, um, she has she had one big-ass nose. I'll tell you that, bruh. <laughs> oh, she had one big-ass nose. But, like, she but like she substituted for our class before. And, like, the second time, she kind of to substitute for our class, bruh. Second time, she was more annoying and more fake than she was first time, bruh. Cause you know what, bruh? I like a, a total of five girls in my class. I'm pretty sure, maybe four. I don't know. But this one girl, <laughs> let's just say she is fugly, bruh. Fucking ugly with a capital S, bruh. Like, ooh, she's ugly. Let's just say she's got one snaggled ass tooth, snaggled ass tooth, and, and some near closed Asian ass looking eyes. And she's white too. Like she, she's not an Asian, but like her eyes are always closed, but are near closed. But that's because she has an eye disorder, so I'm not really gonna roast her on that. She can't control that. But like fucking this bitch lies to, uh, all the time. I was gonna say I'm talking about that. I'm making goddamn sense. To wait. But like. This bitch really wrote, not roast, um, she really be lying all the time, especially when, especially for like no fucking reason though, just to make her life seem fucking interesting, and like, you know what, you know what, I don't know what she lied about, but I called her out for it, and then, you know, you know what, this fucking teacher, bruh, this fucking teacher, mm. okay, so I wasn't finished with my work, and she was, and so she was like, so is that Kano in the background selling booze, or whatever, I split, so she was like, so she was like, would you stop messing with her just because she is done with her work and probably has a better score on it than you do? And I'm like, what? But I was, I was calling her out because she was fucking making up stories about her fucking mom again and making up stories about her goddamn life. Well, so like, I, I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I want, truthfully, to her. But like, you know, she was like, she was like, no, no, no. That is that. That is. I always said that was that is feminist. That is sexist. You cannot talk to a woman like that. And I'm like, bitch. I barely got to flame it on her. I mean, we could go into our teeth because that is a rabbit ass teeth right there. God damn. I swear she's carrots like crazy, bro. But you know, I saw her munching on some meat, bro. I saw her clean a chicken wing once, bro. Bro, I swear to God, like she ate the bone too, bro. I swear she <laughs> she a little too fat, bro. But um, I didn't say anything to her yet, other than like, yo, stop, stop, stop lying, bro, because you lie too much and it's starting to get on my nerves, bro. That's really all I said. And she was like, when you finish your work, oh my God, and I'm. And then like, bro, I was like, all right, you know what, whatever. And I, cause I just didn't feel like talking to the teacher. And so then I just started talking to my friends when I was done with the work, bro. And then like, and then like, bro, bro, she was like, be quiet, you're talking too loud. I'm like, talking too loud? We're talking at a normal voice, bitch. And then like, you know what, who was getting loud? The girls. I don't mean like all the girls. I'm not even talking about Miss Snaggletooth, bro. I'm not even talking about Miss Snaggletooth ass bitch. I'm just talking about the. I'm talking about the girls. Period. Like, bro, they were actually whole screaming, bro. And you know what? And you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna cap. 
me, me and the other boys, we we be getting loud sometimes. And, I, and sometimes I would like to say most. And I really, I feel like I should say most of the time. But like, like that day we weren't. We were just like, we were just like laughing and like talking at a normal voice. And we laugh a little loud. And she was like, "Quiet down! You're talking too loud! You're talking too loud!" No. And we're just like, "Oh my God! We didn't say anything, bro." So, well, not where you didn't say anything, but we're not talking that loud. We're like talking on a regular voice, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Like the one time we're actually talking regularly, this bitch wants to try and get on our case, and it's like, like the fuck are you getting mad for? Like, that's that's really my question. What the fuck are you getting mad for? That, that's really my question right now. Like, what are you getting mad for? And like. And like, yo, the girls were actually like whole screaming, bro. They were like, <laughs> they're like, oh, wait, 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 wait. You wanna know something? You wanna know a secret? I like girls. <laughs> and like, bro, we could actually hear them, bro. And we and like me and the other boys were just torn it out, cause we just didn't care. And like, this bitch was just saying shit to them. And then like, and then like, and then when like, um. My one of my friends says something like hella funny. Like we we laughed our asses off because it was so fucking funny. She was like, "All right, you know what? Split up. You need to split up right now, and you need to go to your seat and put your head down." I'm like, "What?" And then like at the same time, or not at the same time, but like a few minutes after, the girls start fucking laugh, laughing their heads off, bro. And I'm like, and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. So wait, wait, wait. Your bitch ass is gonna, you know, demerit us or whatever. They're like, tell us to separate because, you know, we laugh. We have one good ass chuckle over what my friend said. And, but yet, yeah, they're like laughing like loud as ever. I swear to God, the next class could hear us because we had two classes connected to each other, bro. I swear to God, next, the next class could hear them, bro. Round two. And yeah, you're trying to get on my case? Or you're trying to get on our case? Like, bitch, you know what? I'm gonna get on your case. Like, what the fuck is that nose? What is that green, ugly ass colored shirt you're wearing? My god, what is that fake ass supreme handbag you're trying to wear right now? Cause you can all tell it's fake as hell. Like, god damn, what is that fake ass ice on your wrist, bruh? That is not ice. Like, I swear to god, that might be like literal ice, bruh. Like, literal ice. Like goddamn, did you go in your freezer and like take take some take a chunk of ice and like like not make it like mold it into some type of like bracelet, bruh? Cause I know that's fake as ever. You can't tell me that's real. You cannot be trying to tell me that is real. Cause I know that that fake ass little ice on your wrist is fake. Fake as fuck, bitch. So you can get your ass out of here with that. I'm telling you right now, get your ass out of here with that. You know what? Get that troll ass nose out of here, bruh. Like, goddamn. That, that nose. Goddamn. I swear you can smell from 50 miles away. Someone's taking a deep shit in a bathroom. You can already smell that shit. That's how big that nose is. Like, goddamn. Get some plastic surgery. Get that shit removed. You know what? I'm not even gonna go onto the zit that's on your head, bruh. Aren't you like fucking 50? Why the fuck do you still have teenager zits on your head? You know, what are those stars on your face? What are those fucking stars that you are trying to put on your face? It's not working for you. Stop. You're ugly. Stop. Fat ass bitch. God. Why are you in fucking teeth, bruh? Truthfully, that is something I wish I could have said to her, bitch ass. But, you know, we're not, we're not even going to it. We're not going to go into it. But, like, really, bruh. I swear, though, the guy teachers are even worse, though. The guy substitute teachers, bruh. Because, bruh, they're not even fake feminists. They're just guys who think the girls are cute, bruh. And, like, you know, this never happened to me, bruh. Like, I swear, I swear, these guys, these guy teachers, bruh. If they see a fucking thick ass blonde, bruh, if they see a thick ass blonde, that, you know, of course is white. And I'm talking about like these natural blondes, so of course they're white. If they see one of them, bruh, I swear, they're, they automatically have some fucking big ass boners, bruh. I'm like, 
I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, bro, what is... Like, like bro, like, are, are you ha... Do you have a boner for that girl right now? Because she has a jock boyfriend, bro. I swear to God, I saw her boyfriend. Like, I'm best buds with her boyfriend, bro. What is she trying to flirt with her for? And I swear, sometimes it's obvious when they be trying to flirt with her, too. Like, calling them baby and shit. Like, bro, nigga, what did you call her baby for? She is... She is a... Bro, she is fucking 12. No, no, fuck, she's 15. Stop acting what I'm saying, bro. Like... Like, these, te these, these guy teachers, bro, they see these thick, white ass, blonde girls, and they and they instantly think they're innocent. And like, when anybody says something to them, they're the quickest ones to be like, like, yo, they're the quickest ones to be like, like, hey, stop bullying her. You really need to stop bullying her. I've been seeing you bully her for this entire class period. You know, I, I've gotten sick of it. Bu bullying her? Wait, 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 wait. So, like, she was just body shaming me and shit. And we're not gonna talk about that? We're not gonna talk about that? Because I swear these thick ass white girls with blonde hair, bruh, they're always the quick one. They're the first ones to body shame, bruh. But they're the quick. But they're the first ones with some big ass insecurities. And when you touch on it, they, they start. They be wanting to cry and shit. And like when you make him cry, bro. <laughs> like I swear to God, these male teachers, they be like, "Stop bullying her! Stop bullying her, bro!" Like you know what? I should probably send you down to the principal's office. Should I give you detention? I, I really feel like I should give you detention. And I'm like, and I'm just like, oh my God! You know what, bro? If you don't get your thirsty ass out of here. Cause bro, it's not my fault that you can't get anyone your age because they all think you're a little faggot. That that's not my fault. It's not my fault your your ex-wife broke up with you because you had one little ass dick, nigga. Like that that bitch, that's not my fault. That is really not my fault. It, it's not my fault. Your, your mom killed herself just because you were so fucking ugly when like you were born, bro. Okay, that, that took it a little too far, so I'll, I'll retract that comment. Even, but even though this is really a fake ass person I'm talking about, person isn't even real. Still, bro, like, like, get your, get your thirsty ass teenager, blonde, thick ass, booty calling, like, fucking white girl loving ass out of here, bro. I swear to God, you, you really like to get on my fucking nerves, bro. Like, like, if you don't get your ass out of here. And it's not, and you know, like, <laughs> I, I, I think, you know, I'm running out of roast, bruh. It's because, like, I don't know. I'm less I'm less bad than I was when I was starting this video, bruh. Because, you know what? I, I just got tired of these guys. I really got tired of these guys just pulling this shit all the time, bruh. Especially the pervert-ass teachers, bruh. Because, like, they be seeing these, they be seeing these hot-ass, dick-ass girls, and they like, boing, boing! And especially if those girls are, like, straight dickheads, bruh. They always be the first one to defend them, bruh. It's just truthfully annoying as hell. I'm truthfully lucky to have teachers. To have teachers who are just like, you know, not like the substitute. The substitutes or teachers I'm talking about in this video. Maybe I'll go on like Reddit or some shit and see and like read some stories on like some fucking people who experience the same thing, bro. Because like. Really, bro? I feel like this is one relatable ass video. One of the most relatable ass videos I've ever made, bro. This has got to be one of the most relatable ass videos I've ever made. So I know one of you boys out there, one of you fucking lawyers, y'all have to have one. Y'all, what the fuck? Did he just send someone out of me? Y'all, y'all have to have had a substitute teacher or a teacher period who was like this. But you know what, you know what, you know what, one more story, one more story before I stop roasting people, bruh. And these fake ass famous, bruh. So I had this, I had this gym teacher, bruh. I had this gym teacher, bruh. He, he, he's not in, he's not in our school anymore. He's not in our school anymore. And he, you know, he is still alive and all that. So I will not, you know, say his name. I will not. But like, bruh, I swear to God, this, this dude, this dude, he would always be looking at the girls, bro. Always be looking at the girls. I swear to God, he would. And like, this teacher was bad, period. He was pretty bad at his job. And truthfully, truthfully, he did a whole lot of stuff just to, 
just to, you know, not have a reason to teach, but like, I swear he'd be looking at the girls, and he would always be the one defending the girls too, bruh. He would always be the first one to defend the girls, bro. And he truthfully pissed me off, bro. But, like, <laughs> yo. One time, one time. And, you know, this is about the same snaggletooth ass girl, bro. She wanted to start some shit with me, right? She wanted to start some shit with me, right? Right? <laughs> and so I told her ass. I told her ass to shut up. I was like, you know what? Can you shut your snaggletooth fat ass up? Cause you know I'm really not trying to have some beef right now. Cause like I was just really in an emotional place. I'm not gonna talk about why I was in an emotional place that day. And I truly don't even think I remember why I was in that emotional place. But something, something um, happened to make me sad. And so I was in an emotional place. So I just wasn't trying to deal with her. And so, and so I told her to shut her bitch white ass self up. And I know, and I know. And you might call me racist in the comments, but you know I, I've been saying nigga this whole video. So fight me, bitch. Fight me. Um, but like, but like, so I told her to shut her bitch up, her bitch ass white ass stuff up. And then like, and then like, this dude, I almost said his name too. This dude, he really says some, he really said some, no, 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 y'all don't know my name. Y'all don't know my name, so I'm not gonna disclose my name. I'm not gonna disclose my name. He was like, Jiro. And he would always butcher my name. I'd like, I just like to say that. So just don't, so like, he'd be like, so Jiro, Jiro, that is not, that is not something nice you should be saying to this girl. I'm like, bitch, why are you even defending her? She's not cute at all. God damn. She's, she's not cute at all, bro. She's fucking ugly. Like, like, what are you trying to defend her for? Because, bro. Cause bruh, I I don't want you know what y'all can y'all can say in the comments. He could actually just think you were wrong for that. He could actually just be being a good teacher. And you wanna know how I know? Because homeboy was staring at her tits every time he fucking looked at her, bruh. And yo, and yo, how I know this? How I know this? You might be asking. How I know this? Because I saw this nigga's eyes. He was like, he was like. Now, like, okay, like, y'all can't see my face. Y'all can't see my face, but every time he would turn to her, he would be looking at her tits, bruh. He would be looking at them sag-ass things she likes to call tits. And I'm like, nigga, nigga, stop. Like, nigga, you can get your bitch ass out of here if you want to be talking shit about me you know what get your elongated man self out of here like god damn why the fuck are you so tall bro why the fuck are you so skinny you know what i'm not one to talk i'm skinny i'm i'm skinny as hell so no, i'm not one to talk about being skinny but he was freakishly ass tall he was some freakish ass levels of tall no I'm I'm so dead ass. He was like freakishly tall, and I'm like, why the fuck is he so tall? The fuck is he so tall for, bro? You know I mean, the fuck? Why are you always looking at the girl's ass, bro? I swear to God, bro. Every time, I swear, you extended the swim periods just so you could be staring at their asses while they swim, bro. Cause you know this one girl in my class, she's got the biggest, got the she had the biggest butt when she she has the she not had she has the biggest butt when she had. I want to say had, but she still does. She just doesn't go in the skin anymore. But like, but like every time she swim, it would like pop up, bruh. And you know, I'd be saying, yo, Jiro, how'd you know that? Jiro, like, I really like to know how you knew that. Because me and this homegirl were tight, for one. And you know, so, and you know, bruh, you, you can't be telling, you can't tell me sometimes, you've seen, you've seen, you just like looked at a girl and then just saw something you ain't never noticed before. So like, so, like that's how I knew, bruh, that's how I knew. You know, it's, truthfully, it's okay to be a bit of a pervert, like, it, like at least in school, don't be a pervert in real, like, don't always be a pervert, but still like a little bit of a pervert and like, and like, ooh man, them teeth, them, they ain't fine, ooh that ass. There's nothing too wrong with that. I personally never do that. My friends do a lot, but there's nothing wrong with that. Just telling you guys right now, do not feel bad. 
do not feel bad or not normal for you know saying shit like that but like anyway 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 back onto the story bruh so like like I was saying this dude what this dude was trying out my case for it and so like I'm I'm really telling this up to him right up in his face bruh I'm like nigga I see you looking at the girl's ass every day like bitch you called him all baby like what is up with that you're like honey baby or baby something like what is up with that why the fuck are you always calling them baby why are you always looking at their ass what is wrong with you you pedophile like there is something wrong with you there is something definitely wrong with you for that I'm sorry, there is. There is gotta be something wrong with you for that, bruh. There is, like, bro. There is, there is something called being like a casual pervert and just a straight pedophile. You are a straight pedophile, you tall ass, skinny ass motherfucker. Stop it. Bitch, stop. Bitch, you got a wife, is she not pleasing you enough? Is she not pleasing you enough? Did you accidentally marry a flat ass bitch, bruh? And another one of the girls in my class, bruh. She got some mac and titties, bruh. And like, he be looking at them shits every day when, when we came into gym class, bruh. I swear, bruh. And bruh, 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 every time. Every time I be seeing this nigga try and go into the girl's bathroom, bruh. And this shit would be annoying as ever. It, not annoying, but weird as ever. But yeah, pretty annoying because I fucking. What is you staring at their ass for? Nigga, what the fuck is you staring at their ass for? Is my question. Like, goddamn, bro. You stare at their ass too much. You stare at their tits too much. You per. You pedophile. Ah, I can't even call it out, bro. You pedophile, okay? Goddamn. Get your ass out of here, bro. Like, I swear to God, I'd smack him in real life. I really would. I'd smack the fuck out of him in real life if I could. And they say he got transferred. Um, He got transferred to a whole nother school because, because that's what he wanted to do. I'm not buying that shit, bitch. You can't. You can't even try and make it that lie with me, bro. Cause I know the truth. They finally caught his bitch ass. They finally caught his bitch ass doing some pedophilia ass shit, bro. And they finally caught him. They finally caught him, bro. They finally caught him. But you know what? You know what? I'm gonna end the story. But one, one thing I'm gonna say before, before, before I end it is like. If you have any girls that just get away with too much shit in your class, and I even touch on the girls who get away with too much shit in, shit in my class, or in classes, period. Like, but, I ain't really touch on them that much. But, like, hey man, part two if you guys like this video. But, like, just, just tell me, guys, if you, have, if you have any girls like that who get away with everything in class, bro, like, just, just tell me, just, just tell me, bro. If you if that ever if you ever experienced that, tell me if you ever experienced some fake ass feminine um, teachers or substitutes. Tell me if you ever experienced that. Or just some thirsty ass teachers, bruh. Some thirsty ass male teachers. Or you know what, thirsty ass fucking gay teachers. Because you know what, I had one. I had one that would not stop like looking at the girls, bruh, and licking her lips at that. Like again, part two, part two, when I talk about it. But hey man, if you guys like this video, please like it, right? And you know, click that bell, comment what you want down there. And you know, I will see you boys in the next video. Stay cool and stay in school and don't let anybody tell you anything else, alright? I don't want I don't want you guys I don't want any for you guys telling me that you guys are lame in the comments because I know if you guys watch this channel, you are instantly cool for that. Instantly cool for watching this channel. So, you know, we're going to try and finish this video off with a fatality with my girl Scarlet. 
and nope, he died. But you know, you know, yeah, yeah. That's all I gotta say, bro. Part two. If you guys like this video, stay cool, stay in school. See you guys later. Out, boys. I am out.